UH Athletic Department officials began calling season ticket holders today who were on a waiting list for Sugar Bowl tickets. The university received an extra allotment of 500 tickets. Fans on the waiting list are being limited to six tickets per person. The university should have had more tickets for fans, but it decided to turn back 4,000 of its original allotment of 17,500 because at that time it was uncertain about the demand. Associate Athletic Director John McNamara said today that the university should know by early next week whether it would receive another allotment of tickets. The university is offering full refunds to Sugar Bowl ticket holders who bought game tickets but have been unable to make travel arrangements. And don't forget, the UH Warriors will be honored this weekend at the Kapolei City Lights Parade. Several members of the team are serving as the parade's Grand Marshals. The parade kicks off at 6.30 in the evening at the Kapolei Fairgrounds. And then the UH players will help light up the Kapolei Halle Christmas tree at 7.30. The accolades keep rolling in for the undefeated Warrior football team. Junior wideout Devon Best named the Walter Camp second team All-American today. Oakland native led Hawaii with 101 catches for 1,213 yards along with 12 touchdowns. Best was also named the third team All-American by Rivals.com earlier in the week. How's it going, everybody? Warrior quarterback Colt Brennan arrived in New York this morning, getting ready for tomorrow night's Heisman Trophy presentation. Joining Florida QB Tim Tebow, Arkansas running back Darren McFadden, and Missouri wingman Chase Daniel as the final four up for college football's most prestigious honor. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, obviously it's kind of a surreal feeling, and that's how this season's kind of been. And, you know, I mean, it's a great, it's awesome. And I'm just kind of pinching myself right now, and I'm sure I won't really realize it until maybe Saturday night when I'm actually sitting there in the ceremony or, or maybe until I'm on my way home, you know, who knows. And that's what Heisman voters needed to see. You know, I mean, obviously I don't really think I have, you know, the – a tremendous chance, but you know, you never know, and um, you know, it's been a crazy wild football season, so I guess you never really know what can happen tomorrow night. You know, the the real victory has been won, and by going 12 and 0 undefeated, and, and by even being invited to New York, I mean, that kind of already says enough. And um, obviously, our bowl game will be really the determining factor on a lot of things. Brennan, who posted 4,174 yards passing and 38 touchdowns this season, is the 10th Heisman finalist in Western Athletic Conference history and is the first WAC player to make the trip to New York since TCU's LaDainian Tomlinson in 2000. BYU's Ty Detmer, the only WAC winner of the award. Heisman Trophy presentation set to get started tomorrow, 3 o'clock Hawaii time. The first team was announced for the Walter Camp Award, selected by head coaches and sports information directors across Division I A football. Waimea Grad and Colorado star linebacker Jordan Nazan was named to the first team. Today, the second team was announced, and that guy, Devon Bess, is on it. The junior from California played in all 12 games this season, caught 101 passes for 12 or for 1,213 yards. That's a 12-yard average per touch and over 100 yards per game. He's also got 12 touchdowns this season. Ryan Grice Mullins had a tad bit better stats, but got no love. Tim Tebow was named to the first team as the quarterback. Chase Daniels out of Missouri was the second team quarterback. But Colt Brennan is up for the most prestigious award in all of college football. One of four finalists in New York for the Heisman Trophy. Colt is there along with Missouri quarterback Chase Daniels, Arkansas running back Darren McFadden, and Florida sophomore quarterback, the guy we just... Uh, you talked about and many feel we may win the award Tim Tebow but for Colt who spoke to the media earlier this week he's just honored to be there I'm just you know, I'm really grateful and um, I know Chase Daniels I had a chance to hang out with him uh, this summer at the Elite 11 football camp and uh, I think he's a character I think he's a real funny kid and I, I can't wait to meet up with him and I'm um, you know, excited just to get out there and, and see, you know, see New York. It's really cool because obviously it's just a once in a lifetime opportunity, something I never really could have imagined would, would, would come true, and it has. It makes me feel so good about you know, what I did at high school and where I've come from now. You know, when I go to New York, I, you know, I hope all my teammates feel part of me in New York because they're the reason I'm really there. You know, it's awesome, that's what's cool about it. You know? The Heisman Ceremony kicks off on ESPN tomorrow afternoon at 3 p.m. Of course, we'll have a full recap of the show on Hawaii at 6. And I'm sure I don't need to remind you, but I will anyway. K2 and 2 is your home for the Sugar Bowl. The game will be aired live here on K2 and 2 and in HD on channel 1000, or that's 1003 on the digital HD. And stay tuned leading up to kickoff. We'll have a half an hour special on Sunday, December 30th at 6.30 with reports from New Orleans 
and in-studio interviews as well. Even Honolulu Mayor Mufi Hanneman's getting into the Sugar Bowl action. Today, Hanneman and Athens, Georgia Mayor Heidi Davison agreed on a little friendly wager. Quote, should the University of Georgia win the game, I will send her fresh pineapple. When the Warriors win, she'll be sending me fine Georgia peaches. And how sweet both victories will be. Well, local boy and Colorado linebacker Jordan Dizon, along with Warrior receiver Devon Bess, made the Walter Camp All-American first and second team, respectively. Interestingly enough, UH quarterback Colt Brennan did not make the team. However, he's still a hot topic of debate when it comes to tomorrow's Heisman presentation. Why might he win this thing? Why could he be considered? Well, you know, there's always the question, is it the quarterback or is it the system? I think it might be a little bit of both. I think Colt Brennan's going to go on and have a nice NFL career, but the Heisman obviously is not about NFL potential. It's about what you did this season. He is the only quarterback on a team that was unbeaten in the full, uh, football bowl subdivision. So I, I think you have to give him credit for that. Now, when he gets into a rhythm, there is no better quarterback in the country. But I got to see him in person against Washington. At the end of the game, when he had to play well the last drive to win it he went seven for seven he got into a rhythm and not just he didn't just hit receivers he hit them in stride and let them run after the catch the Heisman presentation takes place tomorrow at 3 p.m. on ESPN and we're gearing up to provide you with Hawaii's best and most complete coverage of the Warriors greatest season we have a number of specials airing right here on K5 as we get set to go bowling in New Orleans They're on their way to display the way they play in the BCS. It's got quite some passion in that yeah, song, you hear it? I'm not going to put it on my iPod list, but <laughs> I appreciate the sentiment, you know? Yeah. Liz John here now with uh, some uh, sports news. So that was a mainland artist who put a musical tribute to the Warriors on YouTube. Yeah, if you check his website, actually, he keeps up with a lot of teams and maybe sports themes. Had something there for Peyton Manning, a Peyton Manning song. So when he's inspired... Yeah. Like he was with They're Hawaii, who puts it together. Speaking of Hawaii sports, so Colt Brennan now in New York, the big question, can he really win this Heisman? Yeah, and that's the question that if you ask Coach Jones the answer, he said even from last year, you know, Colt Brennan should have won it then when he threw those NCAA record 58 touchdowns. This year he is actually a finalist, one of four. Mm -hmm. So, And we will know with tomorrow's announcement at 3 o'clock Hawaii time whether or not UH quarterback Colt Brennan is a Heisman winner. This all started in the offseason when Brennan and turned down a shot at the NFL to return as Hawaii's quarterback and then help lead the Warriors to a perfect 12-0 season, a WAC title, and a BCS bowl berth. But the nation's top passers Heisman campaign has its pros and cons. This thing. Why could he be considered? Well, you know, there's always the question, is it the quarterback or is it the system? I think it might be a little bit of both. When he gets into a rhythm, there is no better quarterback in the country. Matt Ryan, Brian Brom, those guys might be better NFL prospects going into the draft, but I got to see him in person against Washington. At the end of the game, when he had to play well, the last drive to win it, he went 7-for-7. Seven seven. Now, join the majority. Why can't he win this thing? Well, I think you go back to, we were just talking about quarterbacks having a magical season, and Brennan, he fits that bill, but he missed over three games with injuries. He had an ankle injury that really lingered for a long time. Then against Fresno State, a concussion knocked him out. There. But missing those games and playing a week schedule, I think, hurts him. Colt, definitely the underdog, but he is in this. Remember, one of four. Later in sports, we'll go into more detail on Colt's career numbers and just how that stacks up for the Heisman. Right, thanks, Liz. Mm -hmm. And in honor of Colt, the school is considering making him the last UH football player ever to wear number 15. I think it's appropriate. That brings us to our e-poll question of the night. Do you think UH should retire Colt Brennan's number? To vote, go to our homepage at KGMB9.com.